Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to some more Overwatch. Today we're gonna be playing a couple of games with the guy with the bow and arrow. We're gonna be playing a few games with Hanzo. Alrighty, so here we go, round number one. Looks like we've got a Lucio with us and we can use that to our advantage by getting to the objective really, really quickly. Oh, well, <laughs> we did get a nice little bit of uh, a damage marker there. Gonna have to try my very best. Looks like May has decided to shut off that area though, so not much we can do about that. So, I am the guy with the bow and arrow right now. And the guy with the bow and arrow specializes in exactly that. He uses the bow and the arrow to his advantage to try and get the damage in. Now with that obviously comes the fact that we'll have to try our very best to also stay alive. I got a couple arrows. No, no, no. Oh, so close. Uh, we've got a couple of arrows that can be used. So first off, we got a sonic, a solo arrow, or sonic arrow right there. Basically what the sonic arrow does, it sort of gives me vision of where the enemies are located. And we can use that to our advantage because, well, obviously it's sort of like a, a war hack in that regard. I'm super low right now though. On top of that, I've got my uh, my E arrow as well, which is called the scatter arrow. That one's really important too, as that one will basically provide me um, with multiple arrows to all shoot at once. And it obviously means that we can do additional damage. Now I'm a little low here, so I'm going to start walking around Lucio. So we do get healed back up to full. It does help out a lot. As you can see, oftentimes um, it's pretty difficult to shoot these arrows in your advantage, right? Like we know that there is a... Uh, we know that there is an arrow that we can shoot right there on the opposing Hanzo. But in general, it's not very easy to try and get the damage hit. And it's really all about trying to figure out uh, where the enemies are located from and what the uh, what the angle is that the arrow needs to be shot at. For example, right? I'm trying to... Uh, I'm try Don't get paint, Loco. I'm trying to use all of the different kinds of skills that I got here to make sure that I get back to... Uh, you know, doing maximum amounts of damage, but it's definitely not easy. Now, I'm gonna use my ultimate here, which is basically the Spirit Dragon. And what happens is that we basically force enemies out of a certain location. Now, I got a couple of nice consecutive hits there, immediately cleaning up the ki or cleaning up the opposing team. And the reason for that is partly due to my ultimate. So, the ultimate I just used, the Dragon Strike, basically shoots an arrow forward that turns into a spirit dragon and the spirit dragon has to do with the lore behind uh, uh, behind uh, i almost said gendry behind hanzo the two are brothers by the way um but um basically uh basically we got this spirit dragon that will go ahead and help us out and what happens is that um you know it goes through walls it does damage and it forces enemy out of enemies out of position uh, which is really the main strength of it but looks like you know round number one goes into our favor. A nice little thing on this hero, in this waiting area on the Legion Tower, you can actually shoot the basketballs, which is sort of like a mandatory type thing. I, I always go ahead and like target practice the basketballs. <laughs> it's not very easy, but um, it's it's all a matter of like using the um, using the arrows because obviously like I need to draw them right. If I don't draw them fully out, there will be a bit of an arc in them. And also actually, if you fully like fully draw them out, it's still not going to be 100% accurate. That ass. Um, it's, it's all a matter of learning those kind of subtle little angles. And I can imagine there's going to be a lot of people that will go ahead and main Hanzo. Because a Hanzo that is being played really, really well is going to be stupidly powerful. Extremely powerful. So it looks like we found out where the team or where the enemies are at. Trying to do the damage there to him. Ooh, got a nice little hit in there. But yeah, you're always going to be at a bit of a distance, right? In short range combat. I'm definitely not gonna shine, so I'm not trying to be there. I'm not trying to be at an angle where I'm not gonna be able to shine, right? Always trying to be rather where, you know, I'm gonna be strongest. The damage of these uh, these arrows, by the way, is really high. Like, one headshot is basically a kill on every, well, non-tank. Which is uh, pretty good. And also times, like, in, in short-range combat, you can, uh, you can still use your kick as well. The kick is really good. Or like, I guess it's like a push forward with my hand rudder, but uh, you get the point, right? The melee attack of this hero, still really, really powerful. Now, it looks like we're doing rudder well so far. We are still on fire as well. Um, there is a junk rat on the enemy team. Ooh. <laughs> Do get him right there, I think. Oh, I don't know if there was a stray scatter arrow or not, but hey, we'll, we'll take it. Ooh. Oh, come on. Wow, I would have definitely had her if it wasn't for that, uh, if it wasn't for that, uh, Zarya giving her the shield. That was kind of lucky. Alright, we're raining some, uh, some arrows from a bit of a distance. I'm basically using both of the shots on cooldown whenever I find a useful scenario for it. So right now, ooh, can have a little bit of extra vision. By the way, the, uh, the vision of the solar arrow, 
<laughs> oh, look how you wasted your ultimate. <laughs> I drew the ultimate, then I got attacked and got distracted. Uh, but uh, the solo arrow does actually help our teammates as well. Definitely did not need to waste my ultimate there. The ultimate has a ton of potential. Gotta be careful here, though. No! Oh. Do get taken out. Have got the most damage done off the team so far. Imagine if I wouldn't have wasted that ultimate. That was so silly. Basically, you draw it, right? You draw the arrow, and then you, like, you know, shout that Japanese thing. Um, what happens is that um, there's a little bit of, like, cast time in between. And since I got attacked by Tracer, and since I'm talking and playing at the same time, made the minor mistake there of, um, well, making uh, the, uh, the ultimate go into the completely opposite direction. I'm really not getting very much out of it at all. Ugh. And also, once again, do get taken out, even though I did get a hit off on him. We do get an elimination there in the end, but... I did get the hit off. Look at the damage, right? It does about 100 damage to the body, and I think about 200 damage or so for a headshot. Which just means that you, um, you know, kill most of the uh, most of the enemies in the game with a single shot. There's a bit of overtime right now, but we may very well have got the game won already. So very, very nice game number one here. Managed to get quite a bunch of eliminations as well as damage done for the team. There we stand like a badass. Highly doubt we got to play the game. No, it's actually gonna be the opposing Tracer actually. Was that the opposing Tracer or did we have a Tracer as well? It's probably me dying in the uh, in the play of the game. No, 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 this, this was actually uh, going to be uh, the Tracer on our team if I'm not mistaken. But um, either way, let's jump into another one, shall we? Alrighty, and for the second game, we find ourselves on the attacking team on Dorado. Now, technically speaking, we are in the category of being a defensive hero, but in a lot of scenarios, you can go ahead and play this hero on both teams for sure. Like, if you're accurate with your shooting, you're still gonna be able to be one of the top damage dealers, as I guess displayed in the previous game as well. Even though I didn't play perfect, and I definitely could have been hitting a couple more of these shots. It definitely wasn't bad. It definitely wasn't terrible. Now, on this particular map, we have to go ahead and escort a payload here, first and foremost, which is uh, something important to keep in mind. Uh, so we do have to stay close to this payload, but we got a Bastion who can sit on top of it, and as long as we stay relatively close to it, we can still, you know, be, uh, be also of use as well for the team, as far as the escorting part goes. So far, so good, though. Okay. Holding down, by the way, the left mouse button click draws the arrow. There's no timer on it as far as I'm aware. Um, and you can also go ahead and, um, you know, undraw, I suppose, by hitting the right mouse button click. At least uh, as long as you're playing on a PC, obviously. So far, so good, though. We're escorting it very aggressively, and it is working out rather well. They haven't really set up defenses whatsoever, and after we all took them out, it is just a, <laughs> a clean, clean transfer so far of the payload. Oh, well. She also does end up falling there. Nice. So oftentimes you don't actually get like a ton of eliminations like you for example can get on someone like Junkrat just because, you know, oftentimes if you, if you tick, like if you tick someone, right, you're immediately gonna also end up taking them out. Um, there's not like, uh, there's not like a lot of like lost damage I suppose. For example, I have a like, Junkrat, right, who we're up against right there. Junkrat just sort of throws the mines that he's got and he just mobs them all over the place. And what happens is that, um, well, he oftentimes gets a ton of eliminations because of it. Looks like we've unlocked actually an achievement there. Well, so far this is a super clean game though. We're just escorting the payload. I'm just standing on top of it, getting a really nice vantage point, I suppose. Here's the ultimate. Bastion should not be able to run away from that. I'm sorry, Mr. Bastion. Um, and that's also one of the reasons, by the way, why this hero is so very common, as far as like counter picks go. Um, because, uh, well, let's say they have a bunch of Torbjorns or a bunch of Bastions. Uh, a hero like Hanzo's ultimate can quite easily murder the entire team. Now, I gotta be careful. I was gonna say, like, I hear that the Riptar is coming in. I had no idea where it was at. Looks like he used it in a very interesting place. And literally, he didn't even see me. He didn't even see me. He accidentally killed me. Oh, well. Oh, well. That's all right, though. We'll be getting back to the battle very shortly. It's gonna be a little bit of walk back time. Um, on this particular map, there's gonna be a couple of checkpoints along the way as well that we can go ahead and use to our advantage. Get a little bit more time. Yeah, we did just uh, reach that checkpoint, so we got seven and a half minutes remaining now to actually go ahead and just escort this for the very last bit. Only one, uh, one little bit remaining. I'm gonna go back towards the uh, payload, this thing right here. 
I will try a fr oh, oh my god. We shot him right from the sky. Oh god. I don't want to fight her. <laughs> Get sniped, Widowmaker. I'm sorry. Feels really good to snipe the sniper, guys. What can I say? Widowmaker is a great counter, by the way, to this hero. As long as she's accurate with the shooting. Where are you? <laughs> oh man, she went she went very aggressive there. Oh, ultimate time! Ultimate time! Forcing them out of position at the very least. And uh, giving us a really nice, you know, bit of momentum, I suppose, once again. They get a pick off their five player kill streak. We are once more on fire. And it looks like we're gonna go ahead and escort this payload towards the objective. Um, not doing a ton of eliminations here in this game. Well, still a third of the team, I suppose. But um, we got most of the objective kills by just simply staying really close to the objective as well. Looks like it's McCree who gets the uh, gets the pick off there. But you can notice though, like even though we're on the attacking team right there, and and we're technically not made for the attacking team, we're made for defensive teams really. It's still. Whoa! That was ridiculous. <laughs> What? I don't even remember exactly what I was saying anymore. That ultimate of McCree was absolutely beautiful. Either way though, we are currently at the final game on Nepal, which is gonna be a control-based map, meaning we gotta win a best of three. Hi, hi. Apparently someone <laughs> recognized my nickname right there. I'm now streamer loco. Sometimes people ask me whether or not I'm actually that YouTube guy or not, but... Sometimes I'm that streamer guy. I guess I guess I'm never both. I'm never both. If you haven't, by the way, ever checked out the stream, obviously do make sure to check out my Twitch channel. There's a link down below. Either way, though, we are currently once more on Nepal, so we'll have to try our very best to uh, to murder some of these nerds. Bastion says group up with me. Interesting decision making by Bastion. On this uh, on this area, by the way, you have this really nice little like look over area where you can actually sort of like peek over the uh, peek over the edge and nuke down a lot of the enemies. It's a really nice, like, basically right now I'm not very vulnerable, and there's a very big chance I hit all the headshots as well once people do move up, ooh, move up the ramp themselves. Sadly, I almost got taken out myself there. Oh my god, no way. Oh, she already got ult. That was a really quick ult. Looks like I'm gonna have to back up. Oh, well, is she gonna come this way? Nope, nope, nope. So far, they're doing a good job, though. I'm not really one for defending this area. I can pick off enemies from a distance, as I have been doing for a while. But, oh, no, I can't quite take on. <laughs> I try my very best to do it right there, right? I, maybe I should have meleeed. I'm not sure. But uh, I, I can't quite take on enemies like that in a very close quarter combat when they have a health pool that is ridiculous. One thing, by the way, to note that I haven't mentioned yet, I can go ahead and climb up walls as well, just like this. So basically, I just hold down my space bar and the walls will be climbed. <laughs> very straightforward. We got our ultimate, by the way. So I'm trying to find a bit of a good spot so I don't accidentally waste my ultimate. Ooh, that'd be stupid, right? Um, you know what? I'm just gonna use it just like this. Should get a bunch of damage in. Sadly, though, once again, I can't quite take on her in one-on-one -on -one engagement. Unless I get a good hit in. Unless I get a good hit in. We'll take it. So far, we've been doing quite a bit of work in this particular match. Although, we haven't quite gotten the objective in our favor. So, we're basically forced. <laughs> they get Mercy, which is sort of standing still there. The solo arrow doing, uh, doing a lot of vision in this particular one. Uh, sadly, we haven't quite... Oh no, oh no, oh no. Sadly, we haven't quite grabbed the objective there in our favor yet. You can notice though, like, I, I have a bit of work to do when it comes to playing this hero. Like, I need to be a bit more either communicative with the team or like a little bit more practiced in general. Because I've got some pretty good matches, right, where I feel like I'm playing pretty well. But then there's also some other matches where I feel like I, you know, I'm just dying kind of pointlessly in these close quarter combat. And it may just be a lack of practice where I need just need to get better at taking on these engagements. Maybe I'll just be... God damn No, no! Don't die, Loco. I don't like her, man. She's scary. Okay, we have to get onto the objective, though, because it's currently at 95%, and we do want to push that over time. Okay. We're grabbing it. We're standing on it right now. Basically, at 99%, there's always a chance for overtime. If you grab it back right now, that'd be awesome. 
I'll go ahead and take out these turrets. Do finally take out that Merce or that, uh, what's her name? Oh, tried to pull my ultimate there. Uh, tried taking out the Tracer player as well. Sadly didn't quite get it. This may very well be game over. Come on, get it, Tracer. Get on it. We got our ultimate here, but it's not gonna quite reach the checkpoint from this uh, from this point of view. And sadly, looks like we've wasted this, wasted the ultimate. Not much we can do about that. All right, all right, we're good to go. Uh, almost shot all of them. There we go. All right, let's get to the other side of the map. Sadly, you do use or you do lose the progress you've made on uh, charging up the ultimate um, when the round switch. Obviously, that's made to. Uh, you know, have people uh, switch heroes and whatnot, which uh, you can do at all times, by the way, in this game. But, um, you know, obviously it's all a matter of, uh, you know, playing well as well. A lot of the times people switch heroes very unnecessarily as well. You do lose always the progress that you've made on the, uh, on the hero switch. Like, uh, basically you never get your ultimate again. Looks like they are doing a good job, though, of grabbing the objective. Okay. Okay, we'll take the objective. We'll take the objective back. Capturing it right now because it's with four of us, it goes really quickly. And we do grab it there. It's very good. Oh no. <laughs> she recalled immediately. Sometimes it's hard to say whether or not she blinked or whether or not she's recalling. Like moving back and forth with this hero is really important as well. Don't do that, sir. You scared me. But moving back and forth like this really ups your chances of getting good hits. This time around, we don't waste the ultimate. We at least, like, you know, buy ourselves a little bit of time and get a couple more percentage points in. Waiting for the perfect opportunity with ults is one of those things sometimes works, but oftentimes you really want to, you know, try and grab the best scenario right now. Because there's definitely still a pretty big chance I'm going to be able to, you know, charge up another. Although, I do need to get some healing. Ooh, nice hit once again. We get a little bit of a kill streak going. I love playing this hero though. The skill level is so high. The skill level on this guy is gonna be insane. Particularly like a couple years from now, there's gonna be players that are gonna be really good. Without even, uh, you know, with, without even missing a shot, right? Okay, ultimate time. Do get a, a few hit marks there, but sadly, not quite enough. And we did lose the objective too, which means that we really do need to like, we really need to get back into this. Because without it, we're never going to be able to take it. We've got a lot of eliminations and a lot of damage done here, but... Uh, this is not a hero that can carry like the entire team, right? I've seen some insane uh, tracer play in particular who can easily carry a team. But since I can only take on one target at a time, right? The eliminations and the damage done still mean something, but it's never going to be able to... You know, you're never really going to be able to properly achieve victory when you're playing, uh, you know, in a uh, in a team-based situation. Whereas other heroes are a little bit better at that, I suppose. Ooh, do get the kill there. Okay. But yeah, bouncing back and forth like this is really beneficial. I love playing uh, this side of the map in particular with uh, with Hanzo because she can get such a big amount of damage in. Although, if you're not gonna grab it, obviously, there's not much we can do here. Looks like we are gonna start moving in. That's good, but <laughs> don't think we're gonna be able to. Oh my god, she's playing so aggressive. Yeah, I can't do much. I have one HP. One HP! <laughs> I'm still alive! I'm still- No! <laughs> I have one HP. Maybe I should have stuck around with uh, with Reinhardt here instead. Look at her hunting me. Like crazy. Ah, The one HP. That was ridiculous. Okay. Currently, they have 92% though. We need to get over there. We need to get into the objective, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, come on. Ah. That is truly unfortunate. Either way, though, that was a good match, nonetheless. We managed to do a ton of eliminations, ton of damage, and a ton of objective kills. Tried our very best. You can't win all of them. Let's see, though, what Tracer got us to play of the game here. 
It's probably me dying, right? Oh, actually, this is the Allied Tracer. Whew. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you haven't already, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. I want to thank you all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile, alright? And I'll see you in the next one.